ben hier in Heerle, in Schoenk, bij de expositie An Anarchy of Silence over de experimentele componist en kunstenaar John Cage. And I love the activity of sound. What it does is it gets louder and quieter, and it gets higher and lower, and it gets longer and shorter. It does all those things which I've, I'm completely satisfied with that. I don't need sound to talk to me. I think Cage is like the DNA of our multimedia present. And so we get the, the roots in that experimentation. Mm -hmm. And the exhibition, of course, doesn't just deal with 433 and the white paintings and things like that. It takes us through to Cage's own experiments with multimedia. With um, the, One of the great pieces in the exhibition is an installation called Harpsichord with films, slides from NASA, slides that Cage painted himself, a lot of different sound sources, mm -hmm. and this sort of immersive multimedia environment. He's trying to touch the next thing that will be, you know, bothering us, uh, entertaining us, saturating our experience, our, our perception. He, he tries to sort of touch each new phase of technology. So I think himself he was keeping his work relevant by, by constantly trying to deal with sounds in the world that he knew we would have more and more rather than just purely musical sounds. Whereas I love sounds just as they are and I have no need for them to be anything more than what they are. a lot of interest in this sort of world of experimentation and there seemed to be a lot of enthusiasm about the exhibition actually coming here which is always wonderful because Cage isn't even that much sort of un understood and accepted in museums in America. I mean, mm -hmm. the exhibition has done three trips, three different yeah. places in Europe, and it still hasn't come to America. So somehow I think that there's a, a, a wonderful attitude of, of interest in, in his kind of experimentation, mm -hmm. which is lacking elsewhere. Mm -hmm. 